All right, I wanted to do a video on timing on my 550 horsepower Mercury, you know, as part of the series, uh, because I had a few questions about it. Um, so to start, let me just show you, there's the distributor and the timing belt. So you wanna make sure that mic mark right there, you can see it, it's an arrow, and points at the crankshaft. So I've already done this, but as you rotate this shaft, which right now is almost close, just hope I don't does that fuel in it. So coming up is my zero degree timing mark right and then you got another timing mark right here and if you and they should line up so let's make sure i'm showing this right so you got the zero degree mark right here it's right there right and then if you look over here you got your other mark and you want to make sure that that arrow is lining up with that mark. So, if you look at it, they're lined up. I know it's weird with the camera angle because I can go this way and it doesn't look like they are, but um, they're going to line up. They're going to point at each other. And so I'll, I'll put the cap back on it, the bolt, and then I'll put the, the front plate on and I'll, I'll show you how that lines up with zero over there. Okay, so I got the front plate on. And as you can see, there's top dead center. Again, it's all about the camera angle. But when I'm looking at it with my eye, I am lined up with zero. If you look over here, checking my work, you can see that the mark is here, but the timing mark is off. So I gotta pry this up and readjust this so that they align. And uh, it's pretty simple. Just gonna get a flat head. I'm just gonna gently kind of pry this up. So now, what I want to do is that needs to go right there. So I'm going to take my timing belt. So to show this, I'll do this. So I'm going to take my timing belt. I'm going to keep it about right there. It should be dead on. And then I'm just going to turn. It's hard to show this with one hand. It's on. Now I need to line that up. It's 
And then here's our first mark. There's our arrow lined up with this. And we're going to look over here and see that we're lined up on top dead center. So yeah, that's, that is as close as it's going to get. Maybe as farther back you could see that it's totally lined up there and it's totally lined up here. Now this should fire in the correct order. And you got your little top that goes on top, right? And if you notice, there's this line. It means absolutely nothing. I don't even know why they put that on there. Maybe somebody knows, but if you think that's a timing mark, it'll screw you up. Put my nut on. All right. So now, so now I know my engine as far as the crankshaft and the distributor are in time and lined up. Pull the trigger on my timing light. It's kind of not doing what I want. So right about here, of course, I lost audio. And, um... Uh, had the timing light on it and you could kind of see where it was actually it was firing right around just after zero and um so you know you don't want that um you know even adjusting the distributor you're not gonna get it to move five degrees so basically what I figured out or what I discovered is that I was a tooth off on the distributor and I had to, you know, readjust my timing mechanically. All right, so I was actually a tooth off with mine. So I adjusted it. Now... If we look, all set up again. You can see I'll, I'll be between seven and nine degrees. Man, so that's your five degree mark. You can see it. So right about here, I blew out the mic again. I guess it was too loud. It's too close. So with the timing light on it, you could see that it was, at, you know, between five and nine degrees. Fortunately, with, uh, you know, that camera is like 30 frames per second. So with the light, the timing light on it's really difficult to see um the actually where it was uh firing at even the first shot where it was you know at zero and then anyway the second shot even when i shot that care that you know with the timing light the camera really didn't pick up where it was firing at but it was firing between five to seven degrees before top dead center.
I used to 